welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you my bathroom cleaning routine. We have three full bathrooms in our house and I clean them on a weekly basis. So I thought that I would just take you through my process and share with you the products that I like to use. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up, especially if you'd like to see more cleaning videos in the future. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, especially if you are new and you enjoy this sort of content. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So as I said, we have three full bathrooms to clean. So I like to start with the one right off of the kitchen. This is one that doesn't get utilized a whole lot, so I find that it's the easiest and the quickest one to clean. Although we did have a bunch of company in town over the weekend to celebrate Gunner's second birthday. And out of convenience, this was the bathroom that did end up getting used the most just because it's right off of the garage and easiest to get to from outside. So the first thing that I like to do is take everything off of the counter and spray down the mirror with Windex and spray down the counter and the sink with a Method all-purpose cleaner. The one that I like to use in the bathroom is the lavender scented one. It just smells so good and is the best scent in my opinion for bathrooms. to the toilet I'm using the same method cleaner to wipe down the toilets I am a stickler about having clean toilets I don't know about you guys but I do not want to sit down on a gross dirty toilet seat and I always like to go in with the mindset that if God forbid something happened and we got a flu bug or food poisoning I certainly do not want to be hovering over a gross dirty toilet so I like my toilets sparkly clean and I clean the every inch and nook and cranny of them starting from the tank, working my way down to the lid and the seat. I wipe around every little bit of it and work my way down to the base of it and even wipe down around the floor because I have a husband. toilet bowl I am using Clorox Kling. I prefer Clorox or Lysol just because it does a better job with killing most of the germs. Moving on to the tub, I just spray it down with the same method cleaner and give it a good wipe down around the side and faucet. Full disclaimer, I only clean this tub every two to three weeks just because it doesn't get used very often. but. Because we had a bunch of company here, I wanted to go ahead and give it a good cleaning. So I like to use one of those scrubby sponge wand things. I get them at the Dollar Tree and they make cleaning tubs and showers so much easier. all of the bathroom rugs on my bathroom cleaning day and put out clean towels just so that everything is nice and fresh. Moving on to our second bathroom which is actually Gunner's bathroom. Again I'm just removing everything from the counter and spraying down the mirror and the sink.
wipe down or rinse off any items that are on the counter just to remove any dust um, or like soap scrum and soap scum and grime that gets on the soap bottles. And then I work my way over to the toilet and just continue to follow the same process that I did with the first bathroom. I did actually run out of my lavender scented spray at this point, so I had to run into the kitchen and get the lime and sea salt method spray that I also really love just so I could finish the job. But I did make sure that I put my lavender scented spray on my grocery list so that I can grab another bottle when I go out on my next run. <laughs> stand at the sink to wash his hands and brush his teeth so I also like to spray that down and give it a good cleaning as well. Moving on to his bathtub again just spraying it down and using my little sponge wand scrubby thing to give it a good cleaning. I also realized at this point that someone left their shampoo and soap at our house, so now I need to track down and see who it belongs to. You can see my little helper there. I think he was wanting to take a bath at this point. So this is a faucet cover from 4Moms and it is amazing. It helps to gauge the temperature of the water for your little ones. We actually used the tub version when he was an infant, but having this has been such a lifesaver. So again, just taking out the rugs and putting in fresh clean towels and moving on to our master bathroom. cleaning the toilets is use a spray bottle filled half and half with Clorox bleach and water and it really helps just to go in with the toilet and get rid of any urine stains that might be on there from the boys and just take a little paper towel to it and it comes right off and it's good as new. So now we're moving on to my side of the bathroom, which is a lot. I always dread cleaning our master bathroom because it is the biggest and the most cumbersome. So again, just removing everything from the counter and going back in and spraying everything down and giving it a good cleaning.
pacing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin well, We fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you Moving on to Chris's little corner. He keeps a lot of stuff out on the counter as well for a guy. So it makes me not feel so bad with all of the stuff that I have out on my side of the bathroom. Moment. And this is a little bit of a challenge because it's a garden tub and it's much larger than the tub we had in our last house. So I literally have to climb inside of it just to get to the back. I also have to be really careful with cleaning around the tile. The previous homeowners actually put this tile in themselves and they didn't do the best job. So we've actually had pieces of tile falling off and the grout is just crumbling away. So I just take a damp paper towel and just gently wipe around those areas so that I'm not causing any more damage than what's already been done to it. And we're just gonna have to go in and <laughs> try to fix it all. I don't know if we're gonna replace it or fix it. I don't, I don't, we have to figure that out. But again, just spraying the inside of the tub down and using my little scrubber sponge thing to clean it. That thing helps tremendously with larger tubs like this. So definitely a lifesaver for me. As you saw in our other bathroom, I do like to wipe down our scales and then I move on to the shower. This shower is a pain in the butt and we would like to replace it eventually, but for now I just go in and spray it down and use my little sponge scrubber to get the base of it and all around the walls clean and then I spray it down with the hose and just rinse it all off. Skin, pull me close, take me in. Just me, just you. Lost in the moment. And now that all of the rugs have been washed and are nice and fresh and clean, I am going back into each of the bathrooms and putting them into place just to put everything back together. 
And here is where I gather the garbage as well. This is actually the night that our garbage needs to go out. So I like to get it all together so that it's easy for Chris to take out to the road once he gets home from work. And that is it guys. That is my weekly bathroom cleaning routine. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up.